Hello there, it's Courtney and today is one of the biggest games in the Premier League calendar. It is Liverpool taking on Manchester United at Anfield. And I've got a good seat for it today, I'm like row 14 on the lower Annie, which is going to be amazing. Um, I'm slightly nervous for the game already, I'm not going to lie. Um, obviously, like I said, never know what team turns up when it comes to us. Although against the top six teams, touch wood, we haven't been too bad this season um so we'll see how it goes but it's going to be interesting nunez is obviously back after that wolves game Mo seems to be getting a bit more confidence so um, fingers crossed he got a goal on wednesday night and he's me captain in my fantasy league so that was a good one for me um gak obviously should hopefully be starting i think going off the lineups that we did on wednesday night um but I've said since Wednesday night, I've just got a weird feeling that Jota might end up either coming on or starting. And I just feel like a Jota goal would be a good way to welcome him back from injury. Also, this week we've had the sad news that at the end of the season, Bobby Firmino will be leaving Liverpool, it looks like. Um, he's not going to be signing a new contract, which is a bit upsetting because... Um, some of the Brazilian players are my like favourite players. I've got a soft spot for Brazil whenever there's a World Cup on so seeing Bobby go. It's gonna be really hard. I think all of us just absolutely love him. So yeah, if Bobby comes on, the reception he will get would be amazing. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, um it's just it's a nervous game. Midfield I don't know where we're gonna go with that. Um I'd expect to see Fabinho starting, um just because it's more defensive with Fabinho usually. Um, Henderson, I think, will get a start. And then it's a case of, do we start Stefan Badgerchuk, who's only 18? And obviously at Wolves, he got carded and that didn't seem to stop him. So, um, yeah, although he's, like, he's one of my favourite players for us this season, we'll be interested to see if he starts. But, like I said, I'm in the lower Annie today so that should be a really good for you um also i'm going to be by not by them really but sort of close to the united fans so that shall be interesting as well um but yeah we'll see how it goes i'm looking I'm looking forward to it but i'm nervous i'm going to do usual i'm going to go to hotel anfield get a year ross from laros try and finish it before the coach actually comes down the road this time because on wednesday night the coach went past and i was holding my year ross up year ross up at them with me camera so that was quite funny um and then obviously i'll head in but you'll see me again with team news before i do head in and yeah we'll have a bit of a chat then when we see team news because nerves are kicking in now that's all i can say so with that being said i'll see you on tomorrow anfield is out. We have Alison and Goal, Trent, Eru Knorte, Virgil van Dijk, Andy Robertson, Henderson, Fabinho, Harvey Elliott in midfield. I am shocked to see Harvey start but hopefully it's a good move. Um, I would expect Stefan Badger to just come on later in the game. Um, and then up front we have Salah, Gakpo and Nunes. So, very strong side. I would expect to see Firmino and Jota come on later in the game. Um, but yeah, it's promising. And now I'm going to have a quick look at United. So United is De Gea, Dalot, Ferran, Martinez, Shaw, Anthony Casemiro, Bruno Fernandes, Fred, Marcus, Rash Marcus Rashford. Um, and then we're first up front. Um, so pretty standard um, United side lately, I would say. Um, Hopefully we have the edge over them. Obviously it's going to be a tough game, it always is, but the atmosphere is going to be mental and there's just been a cheer. So I am going to check because I know Everton are playing currently and they were winning 2-1. I am guessing Forrest might have just scored. Um, since there's been a big cheer from Liverpool fans, usually means something's happened against Everton. 
so let's check it out um yeah forests have just equalized with 13 minutes to go so good on forest um obviously as a Liverpool fan you don't really want to see Everton win so that's good news for us hopefully continues on being a good day with how this game goes let's go and answer that Now they've got to pick it up a bit since we have scored. But really impressive what I've seen from the red so far. It's everywhere. My voice is going because I'm screaming and shouting like crazy in my area. Um, yeah, so I'm helping my voice, but who cares? But if I can speak at the end of this, we'll wait and see. But it is a really good atmosphere at the minute. So fingers crossed, it continues that way. It's been a really good game. Better performance than Wolves, I would say, which I actually predicted that in my um, video with, I think it was Dom from the um, Rose Empires, I did actually mention it. So, we'll wait and see how this game continues to go on, but fingers crossed we stick out and get these three points. And hopefully another clean sheet for Ali, but definitely impressed so far.
seven nil half six goals alone in that second half we had goals from two from Gakpo two from Mo Salah that made him the club's all-time Premier League goal scorer so congrats Mo we had two from Darwin Nunes and then to top it all off we had one from Bobby Firmino after he came on which was just I think made everyone a bit emotional and um, everyone I've spoken to said they sort of got a little tear in the eye um, after Bobby scored just because obviously the news this week that end of the season he will be leaving Liverpool um, I've actually got uh, I need to find her here. Yeah. I have got a pop figure this week of Bobby. Just because of how much I love him, he is my mum's favourite player. So I think we all really enjoyed Bobby's goal a lot, as well as Mo Salah to make him the all time Premier League goal scorer for us. Cody Gakpo starting things off like that. Cody's on fire. First half, I thought, like I said, we were really good, it seems. Um, we seem to have a lot of the control. Just United were. Like I said, I think at that point they were playing for the draw. Second half they came out and United completely crumbled in all honesty. That is the worst performance I have seen all season at Anfield. And that is saying something we beat Bournemouth 9-0. Nine, nine, Bournemouth still plays better. Like, which says a lot. Bournemouth had a fight in it. United didn't even look like they had a fight in it, to be honest, in that second half. Second half though for us, I thought... Everything we've missed this season from Liverpool came back. Defensively, we were really good. Midfield played really well. Harvey Elliott, that second half, was absolutely phenomenal. Um, set up, obviously, a few goals as well because of it and had a few chances himself. Then the front three, and then obviously Joss and for me, you know, coming on later on, uh, they, were, they were able to finish, which... A lot of this season we've not been able to say that, so that was a really good positive. Like I said, this game, not only the result being 7-0, which is bigger than any result we had against United last season, and last season was one of our best seasons against them. Um, like, the result aside, that performance was so many positives, and hopefully with how the last few games have gone, with us having the Derby win, having the get win against Newcastle, then the win against Wolves, and unfortunately, yeah, we did draw with Palace, but, and tonight, I think hopefully it's just given the boys a lift, a lift of confidence, a lift in their performance, hopefully it's a sign of this team not coming to an end sort of thing that there is still a lot of promising players in the squad and next season the tweaks we, we need to make will be made and we'll be absolutely firing all cylinders again so yeah as you can hear my voice has probably gone a little bit um i was screaming and shouting a lot which you might have heard in this video if not when the camera wasn't out trust me I was screaming. I actually dropped my camera at one point because of how mental I went. Um, but yeah, it was it was a good game. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to wipe the smile off my face for a long time now. Even after walking home in the rain, I am still buzzing. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's on to good things. We've got Bournemouth up next and then we're actually not playing again until April. So it gives the boys a little bit of a rest after Bournemouth. So that being said... I'll see you soon. Bye.